Hi there. It's April the 23rd, and today we're starting a new book on, in the former prophets, in the Hebrew scriptures um, of the former prophets, and this is the book of Judges. In Hebrew, the book's called Shuftim, and a Shuftet, which is one of them, is an interesting word in Hebrew. We think of judges and we think maybe of people with wigs and sitting on benches in courts. But actually the word shofet in Hebrew is not just someone who makes judgments, but actually someone who also sets things to rights. The word shofet that it comes from, the root in Hebrew, means someone who sets things right, someone who puts things right, someone who brings equity. And so the shoftim, the judges, are those who also bring freedom and they bring uh, deliverance for the people of Israel and we'll find as we go through that the Shofet is not just someone who is um, there to make judgments but also someone who delivers, who brings uh, right-wising to use a very old English term. Our English word righteousness actually comes from the old English word right-wiseness and it's putting things right, right-wising things and this is what the judges do. So the introduction to it is in Judges 1 and 2, our readings today. And in Judges 1, we're reading of the settlement of the land. The first, uh, first tribe that is settling the land is Judah, and they invite Simeon to come and join them. And if you remember, maybe you, maybe you remember that Simeon's lands are contained in Judah's lands, and so they kind of have a mutual interest to settle this land and drive out the inhabitants. And they succeed in driving out the inhabitants. Uh, Adonibezek, the king, is driven out. But then things kind of go downhill a bit. We start to find that, for instance, Benjamin, the tribe of Benjamin, doesn't drive out uh, the Jebusites from Jerusalem. And they stay with them. They allow them to live beside them. And then gradually the other tribes, Ephraim and Zebulun, they, none of them actually drive out all the tribes. Towards the end of chapter 1, there's a repetition of Othniel's uh, receiving uh, of Devere and the story of Caleb's daughter. We also find Caleb receiving Hebron. So there's a, a rehearsal of some of the uh, story that we've already read uh, in the book of Joshua. But then in chapter 2 of Judges, something uh, awful happens. An angel of the Lord comes and says, because you have allowed these tribes to stay with you because you've made covenant with them because you've made some of them your slaves they're going to be a thorn in your side and their gods are going to be a trap to you and the people are so ashamed and they're so uh, di distressed by this and they gather at a place called Bochim and Bochim in Hebrew means weeping people the weepers and at Bochim, they realise that this is going to be a great struggle for them and a great distress for them. The book of Judges is really about the unfolding of that story, how uh, Israel doesn't obey God and the consequences of that. And at the end of our reading, there's just a rehearsal of the fact that Joshua dies at the age of 110. One thing we will learn from Judges is that God is holy, that God is one-off, that God is matchless and we need to not put any rivals in his place. And what has happened here is Israel has allowed rivals to come in to God's claim and to God's name in their lives. We want our lives to be wholeheartedly for God. Have a very good April the 23rd.